Well, about another nine hours work in total since uh, I spoke to you last. Uh, and the turtle deck is complete um, up to the uh, silver Clico stage. Uh, the only thing I've got to do now is up drill everything and uh, and then start riveting. Um, so what we've done is we've fitted formers three and four, which you can see in the back there. Um, took about half an hour per former so two hours in total to do the four formers down there and then it, it took about four hours in total to fit the front former uh, the reason being that i wanted a really tight fit around the join between the turtle skin and the former. And I had heard that it's quite difficult to achieve a good fit round there. So I decided to abandon the uh, instructions and uh, worked out my own way of doing it. And I thought the only way to guarantee that there's no excess material that's going to pucker up around was to basically start at the top and uh, come all the way around. So without connecting the upper former to the lower former, um, without connecting anything at the bottom here with the clip, I effectively fitted the upper former to the skin all the way round um and made that good then i looked at the i then fitted it to the lower former on each side then i drilled marked and drilled all these at the side here on both sides got that sorted out then fitted these plates I can't remember what they're called now which they just went straight in anyway everything lined up and then lastly fitted made and fitted the clips to fit in situ and uh, each of those clips took me approximately one and a half hours to fabricate. Um, not easy. Uh, I had an aborted start because the first one that I bent up, uh, I snapped it off because uh, I didn't respect the bend radius <laughs> and got too tight a, uh, too tight a, uh, a bend in it. And uh, if you do that, it will break off. Um, this one bent up quite nicely. Uh, for some reason, when I bent it, uh, it was always a bit shy. Um, so what I've done is I've made a spacer to go in the end here to get a nice fit. And I've done the same on both sides. When I bent that one up, it was exactly the same. And... Uh, it uh, needed a spacer so that makes it the same on both sides so i'll just have to uh, increase the uh, or check that uh, i use a long enough um, rivet through there um other things to mention um when i was been, uh, bending this one I didn't quite get the bend in the right place and I needed to straighten it out slightly so I annealed the uh, I annealed the aluminium using a method which uh, I remember from a long time ago which was to uh, take a candle and um, burn some soot onto the area that you want to anneal and then heat the thing up with the blowtorch until the soot disappears. 
and then let it cool naturally back down to uh, uh, normal room temperature. And uh, that worked perfectly. I was able to straighten the bend out and re-bend it uh, in the right position. So that worked for me. Um, you can try it yourself. I'm pretty um, pleased with it. Everything seems to fit nicely. Um, no real issues. It's just taken a long time. Um, so that's where we are at the moment. I'm going to up drill everything to copper Clico size um, this afternoon. Then it strips the entire thing down and uh, deburr it, which is going to take some time. Uh, another tip I have used probably uh, 250 out of the 300 silver Clicos that I have. Um, so. <laughs> It takes a few. I have gone a bit over the top with uh, the Clicos, but it does mean that uh, everything is absolutely spot on. And I'm going to take the Clicos out one at a time and drill them and replace them with copper Clicos. Uh, luckily, I have 300 copper Clicos as well. Uh, so that's what I'm up to this afternoon, and uh, I'll keep you posted on the progress. More later. So here we are after quite a few hours. Uh, everything is stripped down um, to uh, just the pieces that I previously riveted together for the tail cone. Every other part has been removed and uh, deburred. There are about 40 components and uh, sub-assemblies uh, in total that go together to make the, uh, the tail cone uh, turtle deck assembly. Um, everything is drilled out to uh, rivet size or bolt size as appropriate. Um, everything has been deburred and uh, I'm now ready to reassemble it and uh, rivet as we go. So to start off with, um, I'm going to be reinstalling the top longer ons back onto the tail cone. Then I'm going to flip it over the other way and put the bottom on which has been standing over here. The reason for that is I want to get it absolutely checked for squareness level, make sure every last bit fits properly as we go. So I need the bottom uh, in place to start off with to get everything absolutely square. And uh, once I've riveted... Um, certainly the other parts together I can then take the bottom off and it shouldn't move that's the theory anyway so that's where we are it's stripped down and we're ready to reassemble and rivet quite exciting more later on a quick update um, I've reassembled the tail cone and uh, it's ready to start riveting. Um, it's been leveled. I've got the bottom panel clicoed in place as well to make sure everything is square. The first area that we're going to rivet is the aft area. So that little area there is going to get riveted first then the two seat belt anchor points the tops of the cross members here and here and uh, 
Then we'll have another look and see what we can do. I can't really uh, rivet the front here because I need to be able to take the vertical Z's off to uh, deburr in between them and the side skins when I fit the cockpit panels. So we'll go that far. Uh, I've got some bolts to put in as well, um, which we can do. Uh, and then we'll look at putting the turtle deck on and start to uh, rivet all that together. So anyway, that's where we are at the moment. Almost ready to start riveting. So following 10 hours of uh, fairly intensive work over two days, I've finished the uh, tail cone and uh, it looks a bit like this. Let me put it in wide angle mode. There we go. Right, so uh, everything was reassembled um, and clecoed back together after it had all been deburred. And then I started uh, to rivet it all together. Um, started with the internal components before putting the uh, turtle deck on so the seat belt um, anchor points and uh, any rivets uh, at the top of the uh, um, where the cross members join the top longer ons that was all done and then pop the turtle deck back on and uh, it's all been riveted all the way along. The only bits that I haven't riveted are the last three rivets at the top on either side, which is to allow me to get the tail back on again, because you have to spring the sides apart to get it actually in there. Um, and it's all looking pretty good. I'm pretty pleased with it. Um, now, just go that's it we're back again now i've had a comment on the uh, on the youtube channel from uh, mike who um has queried my method for um getting the um what do you call those things uh, the formers to line up with the uh pre-drilled holes in the turtle deck um, to get to to drill the holes and what I did was I scratched a line around the uh, the former um, to allow me to line up the center of the former with the uh, holes in the turtle deck and he's told me this is a bad thing to do um, because scratching aluminium um, over time can develop into stress fractures which I didn't know and that's quite an interesting piece of information of course it's worried me now but having said that they aren't particularly uh, they're more scratches than scribe lines um, uh, so they're very 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 shallow non-continuous as well only where they needed to be and uh, because it's a monocoque construction uh, it is not reliant on any one piece it's not like a um, uh, a structural component that if one you know if it, if it fails the aircraft falls out of the sky um, so I will keep an eye on uh, on those holes. It only affects those uh, holes in the formers in the turtle deck. That's the only place that I've actually done that. So um, 
we'll keep an eye on that. Uh, I had a look at uh, the Sonics uh, website and there is actually a little web, uh, a little um, YouTube video on the Sonics website which um, advocates the use of the blue line method which is to use a blue marker pen um, to put your line down your formers or ribs or whatever um, which obviously doesn't cause a scratch and therefore won't develop into a crack uh, potentially in the future um, so something to think about uh, not something that i was aware of not having ever built an aircraft out of aluminium before and uh, not something that there's an awful lot of information about i've, I've searched the um, sonics forum can't find any mention of uh, anybody saying don't do that um, which is uh, strange it's either that I am blissfully unaware <laughs> um, and everybody else knows this um, but uh, it's something to uh, to think about when you're constructing your um, Sonics aluminium aircraft so I've learned a lesson today and thank you, Mike, for uh, giving us the, uh, the information. Um, so now every time I go flying in this, I'm going to be worrying that it's just going to fall apart and fall out the sky. So thanks for that as well, Mike. Anyway, so we've reached a bit of a milestone here. And uh, I'm pretty pleased that uh, the tail cone is, is complete. And... Uh, it looks good, it feels good, it's solid. I'm still pondering whether or not to fit um, some little angles across the side panels and probably across the bottom panels as well to, uh, to stop it from doing that when you're trundling along the ground or flying around. Um, and uh, if you've got any experience of uh, of dampening down the uh, the panels in the tail cone, please let me know. Is it an issue? Um, is it not an issue? I don't know, but uh, I'm certainly thinking about putting some little stiffeners across those panels just to stop them from wobbling around and making a lot of noise. Uh, the final fit around the front of the turtle deck was as good as I could get it. Um, it's not bad. It's not perfect. But it's probably as good as it's going to get. And uh, there we go. One tail cone and turtle deck. So the next term... Um, project is to build the cockpit and uh, that has got a lot of bits in it looks very complicated there are some parts to uh, make out of some stock material uh, up on the shelf there and uh, i've yet to get the drawings out and have a look but um, probably can have a break from uh, from aircraft construction for a week or so and then i might think about getting some drawings out and so I'll probably speak to you in a week or maybe two weeks speak to you later cheers bye